Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, across this beautiful Kyber Empire. Let me tell you, it's great to be in the Empire today. And I'm hoping 2024 is going to be an amazing year. We got our yearly tradition video that we're going to knock out today. When you look over here, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about our top 10 needed characters in Star Wars Galaxy Heroes for this year, 20. 24 is still trying to get used to saying that uh, we do this every single year and it's not just like characters I want to see it's got a degree of that but like reasonable speculation on where I think Star Wars is heading in general and what Galaxy of Heroes needs when you look at the meta missing pieces of some teams I'm excited to break this down to you guys if you guys are too leave a like let me know down below what characters are you hoping in general will come or what do you really believe it's gonna happen this year and why don't we do a little bit of a report card for how we did last year how i did last year i should say last year 2023 we got pretty good scores we had jedi cal Kestis, uh come to the game which with that comes cal Kestis, marin we also got grogu grogu coming through the form of grogu and ig12 and i expected a dark saber mandalorian Technically, I'm not wrong. We did get a Dark Saber Mandalorian, but it was Bo-Katan Mandalore. So I'm not going to give myself that point. Maybe you guys can give it to me. Uh, we did get the Tusken Chieftain. I got Saw Gerrera because I was hoping from the Andor series he would come, but he did come as a result of the Cal Kestis requirement. So when we look at it, you know, I got one, two, three, four, five. And if you maybe want to round me up for the Mandalorian Dark Saber, give me six. I almost got, you know, a good chunk of him just from guessing at the beginning of the year. And I'm hoping... I can keep this streak going. Now, I think I have indication of the couple themes we're aiming for this year in 2024. We've already kind of talked about this, you know, here and there. Oh, and then just recently, we had some data mines that are getting people excited and the login calendars that make us believe we're going to be celebrating the 25 year anniversary for Star Wars, The Phantom Menace. Usually, Capital Games capitalizes on anniversaries, the Return of the Jedi, Old Republic. The list goes on on what they like to celebrate. So I do think we're going to see a Phantom Menace theme. And with that, we're going to have some characters I think could come as a result. I also think when we look at Star Wars in general, 2023, the big show is Ahsoka. So I expect some Ahsoka characters to come. And I'm going to kind of throw in a few things I just hope we get that I think would fit well in the game in general and things I know you guys want to see, but I don't know if I'm going to put a lot of money on it. So let's go start this off. I'm going to start off our first part of this video number one we're gonna start off bold jar jar binks I, i'm not even kidding i i know it's one of those love it or hate it type of guys i'm not even playing around i legitimately think this year 2024 jar jar has a high degree of possibilities when we go back to 2022 we saw there were some leaks that came true but that could have been just like a, a big leak in regards to a bigger roadmap for a multi-year project Gungans are on there. We were, we've were we been talking about this for a while. Can I just put a card in the top right-hand corner? We talked about how the developers have been kind of teasing Naboo. So I expect this year we might get some Naboo for Terra Turbals. And it's, again, it's just weird. Coming into Galaxy Heroes 2024, we have no Naboo planets. We've never visited Naboo in any of the events, if I'm correct here. So that's kind of saying something right there. So I think this is going to kind of encapsulate. I think Jar Jar could come. Maybe Boss Nass. I think in general, Gungans are going to come. So can, count like five gungans in place of jar jar so in general i think a gungan thing is gonna happen with jar jar without jar jar let's move on to number two number two on my list here kind of following in a similar theme queen amidala now again i, I know the point you know the duplicate character i well we'll play galaxies we have five hans five old you know kenobis and the list goes on five leia so the developers are not opposed to but what i'm hoping for here is maybe like a queen amidala team. let's say we don't get a gungan team but maybe you get a team that's kind of a naboo team in general captain panak queen amidala maybe a couple of gungans i was gonna say r2 but r2's you know he's got a pretty solid home with galactic legend land so in general i think there might be a chance if we are gonna celebrate phantom menace one of the big characters of phantom menace was queen amidala this is kind of the boo is kind of the i guess the breeding ground for what clone wars you know so i think this is gonna be another opportunity for us to kind of dip into some Naboo stuff. Some people have been speculating maybe a Galactic Legend Padme Amidala. We've been talking about maybe a Padawan Kenobi and stuff like that. I didn't put Padawan Kenobi on the list because, I don't know, add that in there. I talked about Padawan Kenobi. There. I think if we are going to Phantom Menace, there could be a Padawan Kenobi cross here. Now, I know we said we're going to probably get a lot of, you know, Phantom Menace celebration, but it still feels odd. We haven't gotten cross here. 
to finish off the bad batch and we know crosshairs in the game we saw him in the data mines and eventually he came into territory battles so we see him in territory battles as a boss that you fight on the second planet i believe but other than, than that why don't we have it just seems like a big uh, big oddity and you know we did have some bad batch stuff season three right season time i lose i'm losing track of all my star wars lately but we just had a bad batch season just this past year again when we look at star wars content they put out generally capital games in general sometimes sooner sometimes later they usually release up roughly one year after a show comes out maybe one they want to see what the characters are what they want to do maybe they got to get approval you know maybe they just want to see how successful the show was before they start going into because they don't want to make characters for unsuccessful shows so i want to believe this year crosshair should be happy it just seems a little bit odd and i do think it'd be nice or bad bad to get a nice boost not to say they're bad but you know there's definitely a lot of ways in the kyber one experience and you know around that neighborhood where it's easy to box out the bad batch so i'm gonna put crosshair as a solid ops i feel pretty confident it should be heavy it's already in game but not just for us like yeah a little bit odd number four we're gonna throw in a uh, this is gonna be kind of a more general category i think we're gonna get some sort of new clones in 2024 i love myself some new clones. i think and hopefully a lot of us could agree Jeremy Anakin Skywalker lost a little bit of his, you know, flair, flavor. He used to be one of the best defensive teams in the game, and he's been beaten up. Not to say you can't beat stuff with him. You can, but when you do, it's often also for low banners. I would love to see some sort of clone to amplify the clone team. Either be a 5 first. I threw Jesse in here. Maybe a character could help the team recover protection. That would be nice. Protection of like a healer for the team to make at least the banners on offense better. I think we can agree on that. I'm not saying gas the bad character, but it doesn't feel like he, he's one of the coolest characters in the block anymore. And you can even hear Kyle. Ooh, 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 ooh. He agrees with me. So hopefully we get a clone of some sort. But on the flip side, when there's clones, there's also beautiful separatists. I'm putting General Kalani on the list this could also be just kind of in general i really think we're going to get some sort of separatist stuff here we're just talking about characters but i'm feeling pretty confident we're going to get some separatist ships maybe galactic republic ship this year i think trench will be the big capital ship of 2024 but if i had to pick one thing i want i would love the akalani again another character that we see in gotb and i haven't seen him in a long time because I don't even play GOTB anymore so it would be cool we they already have the character assets in terms of the animations and whatnot and the art they could just give it to us so it seems like it can be a little bit easier they already did a lot of the legwork they just got to bounce a kit around the guy and i'm oh gosh two ways they could utilize new separatists whether it's kalani maybe they give us a commando droid there's a lot of stuff on the factor line that the separatists could pull out number one i would like to see grievous get a little bit more love besides territories which yes he's got some meta prevalence in territories in general i just feel like i'm not really using him in grand arena i He's not in the, the game plan for me. Now, not to say he doesn't have early mid-game use. Of course, everything does have early mid-game use, but I would like to use Grievous a, a little bit more, you know? So it'd be nice if we get some Scepters, maybe Kalani to bolster up Grievous, or maybe Admiral Trench could use a little bit more love. So that's gonna mainly summarize my expectation with the Clone Wars related to Phantom Menace, some Bad Batch stuff here let's now move on the ahsoka series with the ahsoka series i think there's definitely a couple of interesting things that they could pull out but i'm gonna put the ones that i want that i really 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 want starting off with balin skull i think balin skull is one of the most interesting star wars characters that has come out of the franchise in a long time it's just oh gosh it is so unfortunate that the actor passed away oh it's just it's gonna be tough that we obviously if you've seen the story you know there's obviously going to be more about him and i don't know how they're going to continue with the recast i'm sure they'll find someone i would love to see him he would definitely be an unaligned forester he's not a sith he's not a jedi and i absolutely loved how they opened up the ahsoka series of like kind of a like an inverse phantom Menace. instead of jedi coming it's two of these bad guys coming in uh, speaking of two let's go just to the other one let's go get his apprentice as well i always mess up her name you know, is it uh, shin haiti i i always butcher her name shin hati <laughs> anyways his apprentice uh, again I, i'm kind of wondering where her story is going to pan out because obviously they kind of diverged a little bit towards the end of ahsoka but in general again if we're following that philosophy roughly one year into a show we get the characters kind of supporting it i would be really really surprised like andor i wasn't too surprised we didn't explore andor we didn't get anything out of andor i would be very surprised if we didn't get anything out of ahsoka especially the implications of ahsoka the show in general and where it's kind of taking the star wars franchise moving forward anyways i think if we are going to get something from ahsoka at the minimum it's got to be these two plain and simple but there's a little bit more i want to talk about here 
Why don't we talk about the Night Troopers? Here's Captain Enoch we have here. This is gonna also be kind of a general-ish category. If I had to pick one from this type of category, I would love to see Captain Enoch. What I'm hoping we see, one of the interesting aspects of Ahsoka was the Night Sisters. I think this is gonna be really interesting if we create maybe another Imperial Remnant type of faction. Maybe a Thrawn at the helm. I don't know if we'd get a new Thrawn or the current Thrawn would be fine because one of my, again, it's not a hot take, but it's definitely a bit of an edgy thing. I, I think Thrawn's not as amazing as he used to be. Not to say he doesn't have uses, of course. Being able to pass a turn and fracture is great. But I would love to see him more in a leadership capacity again. I loved his leader back in 2017, and we don't really use it too often, and, and, you know, with the exception of a couple of niche level things. How cool would it be if we had Thrawn, Captain Enoch, a Night Trooper, and maybe some leftover Night Sisters with Thrawn? How cool would that be? So maybe like another Imperial Remnant style team potentially just throwing it out there maybe it could be morgan elsbeth maybe just another night sister maybe we get night tripper to work with the night sister faction so i really think this was another interesting element with the night sisters that we had involved aside from balen skull and the crew there now these last two i don't know one of them i could put solid money on but the other one i want to see happen i just don't know how much money i would put down on it that it's going to happen but these characters i have a fear i feel like i have a fair degree of confidence at, some of the stuff is going to happen but I don't know about this next one. I know a lot of you guys would love it. I'm going to put Satel Shad on the list here. What, some of the more interesting stuff has been the older public stuff that we've been exploring. Darth Malgus was a really cool uh, avenue that we've explored inside of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and just Sith in general. The, the, the old Republic level Sith. How cool would it be if we got this? Now, in case you guys don't know, she's from the older public series as well. And she's a descendant. She's part of the lineage of Satel Shad. Uh, not Satel Shad. Basla Shad and Jedi Knight Revan. Kind of cool. That, that that That's a pretty big pedigree of lineage right there. So this is the character I know people a lot of speculate. Uh, maybe this could be like a Conquest character. Why not? You know, Malgus was a Conquest character. Maybe she could be as well. So I'm just putting it out there. This is the character. I, this is definitely a shot in the dark. Who knows if this is actually going to happen? I'm not reading. You know, like we can read the tea leaves on Separatist stuff. You know, uh, Phantom Menace stuff. Ahsoka stuff. This is kind of out there, but this is also stuff I love. I love when they just catch us off guard with something, you know, uh, against the grain. So, to tell Sean, throwing around the list, but I got one more I want to break down to you guys. This, I think I have some degree of confidence, but I this is a character, this last slide is a character I just, I just want to happen in general. Even if I didn't have indication I'd want it to happen, I'm putting Chancellor Palpatine on here. So this can kind of go into our Phantom Menace, you know, our prequels type of speculation we had at the very beginning. But the reason why I really want Palpatine is because, yeah, I always had this cool idea. What if he's like the Watt Tambor between the Galactic Republic and Separatists where he gets powerful synergies that can lift random teams within the Separatists, within the Galactic Republic. So he's kind of, again, just like the Clone Wars. He, he's, he's playing both, uh, both sides of the game. How, that would, tell me that would not be cool. You know, let's say you maybe he would be like a, a great plug-in for, I don't know, let's say an old-school Padme Amidala team, or maybe throw him in an Admiral Trench team. So I, I don't think it's a very far-fetched idea. I think it'd be awesome to get, even if he's just a legend. I'm not sure if, you know, I, I, you could argue he could be a galactic legend, but at the minimum, I would love to see a legendary Palpatine. And if we are going into the Phantom Menace, that's kind of where we, you know, we saw the youngest version of Palpatine we've had on screen. So, ladies and gentlemen... That's going to be my list right here. My 10 plus, I guess, an additional one. I'm going to throw Padawan Kenobi on here, but I wanted to use space for other stuff. I already talked about Kenobi the other day. So 10 plus one characters. Let me know down below. How, how reasonable? How, uh, what's your expectations that I'm, I'm on the money here? Again, I, was, I was pretty good the past couple years. You know, this year, last year, I've been doing pretty well. Will we get Bad Batch stuff? Phantom Menace? Ahsoka? I don't know. But all I do know... As I'm having an amazing time with you guys, and hopefully you guys are as well with me. Leave that like, comment down below, subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And please always remember how it's great to be in the Empire today. It's great to be in the 